She's going to drive in. She puts it back outside. They swing it over to Campbell, who shoots from deep. And she gets the three to go. Curran now with it. Lots of movement here of the ball. No one holding it for too long. Across the court they go. And a shot from deep from Graham. She sinks the three. Had some big defensive stops and uh, get themselves back in this game. As they're only down by three. With a big Kuklis steal there by a big steal. She comes quickly the other way. And she gets it to fall. And finally the Western Mustangs are able to get it out of harm's way here. Carried by Graham. Who drives it right to the paint. Culford now from behind the arc. Sinks the three pointer. Brock moving the ball very well on the arc here, waiting for that open man. Here we go, we see Tati now wide open on the line, and she shoots the three. With possession, she just tries to blow by her defender, right to the rim, and she gets it to fall. She is covered, now double team, double team on Atkinson, who gets it into the paint, and they get the shot off before the shot clock. Out as she drives into the paint, and her layup will go. That was very good work there by McLeod. Well, you're gonna see here for the uh, Brock coach to look for some discipline from his team as they have to stay off the foul boy there. Both are with the two points there. We now see here, Kuklis with the last chance effort here, and it'll go for her! back the other way, carried by Tati, who sends it off over on the side. Atkinson now with it. Lots of movement as Morris is going to shoot from beyond the arc. And her shot will drain for him. As they move it into the paint now, pass inside, and Hine with another two here. We'll see if they end up getting into foul trouble later on here. Cordonera tips that inbounding pass as the Stangs will get it in a quick rush. And Curran will take it for two. It's been a long time coming. I thought, you know, you know, sometimes Mac was on, sometimes Julie was on, sometimes Vic was on, and and you know, Mayor and and, and Laura and Jade. It's, we just couldn't get them all going on at once. And today, I thought, I thought it was pretty much everyone came in and did a good job. Uh, the slow starts aren't certainly by design. It's not what we want as a, as a coaching staff and as a team, but. You know, give us credit, uh, we, we take adjustments well and we made those adjustments and, and we uh, took care of business. Yeah, it was, it's a tough battle with them because they have shooters and, and uh, you know, like me, I'm a little bit slower to get out there, but we pulled it off. It was the, one of the more physical games that we've had so far. Uh, we've always got to be focused on the future, uh, focused on the present and mindful of the future. So, you know, it's, we've won that game, we celebrate, we have the Cinderella rule, it's come midnight. You know, the celebration's over, we're on to the next, and it's the next game. So we're not looking too far ahead because the common, not this reason, this is what we do. We look at the next game, and then the combinations, the other piece to try and figure out who you're going to play, the combinations are about still 500 or 1,000. <laughs> the, the combinations are infinite. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we've just got to, we're going to have a couple practices. We're going to have to keep them focused, keep them sharp. And, um, and at the end of the day, you know, I, I don't know how much this game has, has impact for, for us overall. I believe that clinches our playoff positioning. Uh, for us, we're gonna come in loose. We got nothing to lose. This is the top ranked team in the country and they're expected to win on home court. So senior night, anything can happen.